The purpose of this section is to demonstrate online LUN migration independently or outside of vCenter. Let's say that the storage administrator created a pool that didn't have sufficient resources. Recently, end users have been complaining about performance. Rather than using storage vMotion to move all of the virtual machines around, we can use the VNX virtual LUN migration option to move storage devices online and non-disruptively. What you see here are the properties of the data store before the migration. Note that the pool type is a RAID group, and no advanced tiering options are available. Let's jump over into Unisphere and look at the same LUN properties. Here, we see that the VM data store LUN is currently configured in a traditional RAID group, and the Disks tab shows that the device is actually housed on five physical SAS drives. To enable the migration, we need to create a new target LUN of at least the same size. In this case, the data store is running low on space, so we're going to make the target device a little bigger. Next, we're going to right-click the source LUN and click Migrate. We choose our newly created LUN and click OK. A warning is presented letting the administrator know that the target device is larger than the original. OK, the migration initiated successfully and will take approximately an hour to complete. Rather than wait, let's warp forward in time. Now that the migration is complete, let's review the LUN properties again. Notice that the LUN is part of a fast pool with mixed drive types. And a tiering tab is now available where we can set data movement policy specific to this storage device. We're also going to look at the properties of the fast pool that our LUN is using. Attributes such as used capacity and subscription ratio are available here. The Disks tab reveals that both SAS and Enterprise flash drive types of disks are in use by this pool. And then under Advanced, we can see that fast cache support is enabled to augment performance on the non-EFD drives in the pool. And then finally, under Tiering, we are able to review the fully automated storage tiering statistics. Additionally, we can review and modify the scheduled times that data relocation jobs execute. Let's flip back to vCenter and review the data store properties. Here we see the data store is now serviced by the fast pool. This time, we click Advanced, and we're now able to configure a tiering policy because the data store has been moved to a mixed drive type of storage pool. You might remember when we migrated the VM data store LUN earlier, we created the target device with extra capacity. Next, we're going to grow that data store by adding the additional 50 gigabytes. Using the Data Store Configuration tab in vCenter, we can increase the data store size online assuming that the underlying LUN has additional space to grow into. What you see here is an example of a VMware file system or VMFS Grow operation. That's outstanding. We've just increased the size of the data store from 250 to 300 gigabytes.